Hey man, look, I want y'all to subscribe to the channel right now and like it too, man. Look, so look at this picture right now. Look how Big Moochie Grape and Black Youngster is literally related. They look exactly the same, man. Look, Big Moochie Grape actually is some way like blood cousins or second cousins with Black Youngster. Like they actually have somebody in the family because they look too much alike, guys. You can't just sit back and ignore all the time, this whole time, and you didn't see the resemblance between Big Moochie Grape and Black Youngster. No wonder they're never together at the same spot and they make it seem like they're not in the same clique whole time. If you look at what Big Moochie Grape just posted on his Instagram this morning, he says he's doing his own tour. He says he's doing his own tour. So then does that mean that he have a fallout with PRE? Is he not cool with Key Glock no more and Snoop Bands? Because it seems like they finally have realized that everybody's talking about how Big Moochie Grape is really the whole, the most guiltiest one out of anybody. And now that I connected the dots about Big Moochie Grape being literally cousins with Black Youngster, that's where you got him to go and send the hit for you. Like, real live, man, I want you guys to look at how, think about it this way. When Black Youngster and Yo Gotti had that beef, and, you know, the hit came from above and stuff, they really used Big Moochie Grape. Like, Black Youngster told Big Moochie Grape, hey, look, Dolph and Matt, he's still coming to Memphis. I want you to go and uh, sign with him and da-da-da, like, try to impress him. And we're going to have all these folks talking up your music and try to push it to, like, Dolph ear. So then what happens next is it works. They actually signed Big Moochie. And when Dolph did that, he gave him a Lambo and everything and advanced chains, the whole nine yards, man. He changed this dude's life. But guess what, though? He was really working both sides, man. He was basically set tripping, like working with CMG whole time, working with PRE and, and then trying to do his own click. But Big Moochie, great. He knew he he was trying to finesse Dolph. Like, he's like, hey, look, he keep giving it a community. He'd give out 100K here to this business, that business. Like, yo, put in a, 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 a little storage at Makita's for all them P, everything like that, man. Everything I said was true. But now, the fact that Big Moochie great, the car, the Lambo he got wasn't enough. They wanted his jewelry. They wanted Dolph's money. They really wanted it to where... They get all the bread off of anything that they made a plan with on PRE. So they snaked him. They set him up to snake him by using Big Moochie Grape as a fake look, like as a like a artist that he could actually, he pinned in, like dropped in, man. He was placed there for a specific reason. They put him as the guy that could get signed next. And the powers that be, made, like, you know, they put the money behind it to like boost him and make him go popping so that Dolph would know about him to eventually sign him, get him comfortable with the team, get him in the click of whole PRE, and then find the inside details to how they're going to be able to snake Dolph in the end, man. And so with all that, it's that whole connection that draws you to how Black Youngster, Big Moochie Great, Moneybag Yo and Yo Gotti, they all have this a line, even Paper Route Morrow, it goes really far with Paper Route Wu and everybody that got caught with the jewelry. And now you got to see how Key Glock is going around wearing the, the Jesus piece, the blue diamonds and everything like that. And this is just like a mystery of where he got it from because how could Eliante make two of those? It's a one of a kind piece. It wouldn't be a one of a kind piece if they had two of them. So you got to understand people put their stamp on this when it's one of a kind jewelry and then when another artist is seen with it and they said that it was a, a, a replica or they made it twice no that's not the truth i want y'all to hit the like button hit the subscribe button this is a very like this is something that's very important and you guys really need to hear this like i want you guys to really look at one thing we just got vital information big moochie great was the one who was with Dolph for the whole weekend up to about, I say, four or five days from what it's saying. I, hey, I want y'all to look at the fact that Big Moochie Great, he felt so jealous and envy 
of Young Dolph and he asked Young Dolph to do something that Young Dolph wouldn't have did for nobody in PRE. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hey, I want to let you guys know that Big Moochie Great, the reason why he even plotted and really put himself on the forefront to get out there and basically take Young Dolph down. Like, basically complete the hit, man. Like, you got to look at one thing. Big Moochie Great ask Young Dolph, can Young Dolph post his videos on his channel like back to back to back so that they can get a liking of him and they can basically forget about Dolph. So at the end of the day, it's, it's like basically, hey, bro, I want you to hey, post my video today and then tomorrow post my video again. And then Dolph looking like I ain't even post my video. And you know, that's how I make my money. Big Moochie Greg say, man, could you post it again? He posted again. Then next thing you know, Young Dolph caught on to what he was doing. And they over the road together. They study catching flights back to back, in and out. And this is something that, like, the hit was sent down from Yo Gotti to Black Youngster to Moneybag Yo to Big Moochie Grape. So you got to look at the task between Moneybag Yo and Big Moochie Grape. This is something that we all know that if money is involved and you want it you're gonna you're gonna do whatever to the best extreme to get it even if it is crossing your own homie out and that's sad this is a revolving door for this man this is something that continuously happened over and over again big moochie great he really don't got that much bond money put up for if something happened like when tables turn you guys got to really look at the fact that Big Moochie Grape is going to be on the stand with his right arm up saying that, yes, this happened. They gave me this. This Like, you guys got to be very cautious of what's really going on. Like, Young Dolph, he didn't really deserve this because he put a lot of people on. He helped everybody in Memphis. Basically, he was doing what a lot of other people not doing, and which which is, and again, I'm not picking no sides. I rock with PRE more than I, I rock with PRE more than I rock with just the whole Sim G. Like, you gotta really look at this, man. Hey, man, look, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video. And if you really look at one thing, I just want y'all to really pay attention, open y'all eyes, Makita's raving. If you really look at the fact that why would Big Moochie Great even give her anything? Like the 150K that he took to Makita's in a brown bag? Like you have to understand, it was like a publicity stunt. The only reason he took that to Makita's raving is because they had something to do with the whole setup. And that goes to show that everybody who played a part and was mentioned in this incident... Like, they were the key players in this chess game.